Hey guys, welcome back to Masked Misfits, and today I am your host, Water. Chloroform. And this is Chloroform. So today is episode one of our new podcast, Masked Misfits. I cannot say that right, and I never will, but that's fine. So today we're here in a room. Yep, and so... This is where some of our podcasts are going to take place. Some of them might be in other places. Like, we might randomly go to a coffee shop or a pool. Trust me, it's not green screen. I can't afford that. But, yeah. So, uh, Chloroform, what's our first topic for today? (laughs) Silence. Okay. So, silence is such an interesting concept. See, we as humans aren't good at silence. You know, whenever there's a gap, you want to fill it because it's awkward, you know? And so, yeah, that that's my thoughts on the subject. So I'll hand over the, ma- to the mic to Chloroform. I like silence. It's like quiet and quiet's relaxing. Um. I like silence, it's relaxing. My gosh, I sound so awkward. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so silence. No, I didn't mean be silent. Anyways, if you're an audience member, what do you do when someone says something funny? Stay quiet, depending on the person. He says he stays quiet. Depending on Personally. The person. Depending on the person. Depending on the person. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, anyways. You clap, right? When someone's funny, you clap. Like this. Enter audience sound effects here. Thank you, thank you. And so when you clap, it releases dopamine, which makes you excited, which makes you happier and makes you want to clap more. O- okay, thank you, thank you. And when you clap more, you have more dopamine, and you're happier. That's why clapping is good. Any thoughts? Yay. Yippee. Nice. So now we're going to be taking a quick song intermission. We'll be right back to you on... Max Misfits. Song? He's gonna be coming back any minute here. I'm being held captive. My coordinates are at six zero. He's back! I forgot what. Oh, yeah. So, welcome to Masked Misfits. Mas. <laughs> Never mind. So, Today, we are going to talk about a topic, and that topic is going to be something related to something that may or may not exist, and that topic will be, it's going to be... White holes. White holes. I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Like, black holes, but like the ones from space. Except the opposite, because there, it's theorized that that's a thing or something. Glad you're not talking about buttholes. <laughs> yeah. You're not wearing your hat. Now you're wearing your hat. Anyways, so white holes, like the theorized thing, it's like. Uh, so it's like the opposite of a black hole as he said and it's white but it's like anti-gravity and just pushes everything away um I don't know if that's true I think um I have no idea but anyways uh, there's gonna be a link to the video somewhere so click on that and it'll be a video that tells you about it because we don't actually know what that is that's just the first thing that popped into my mouth not my brain my mouth yep yep anyways 
I think we covered this topic. But we're going to keep yapping. So I wonder how big they would be. Because black holes can be very, very, very big. Like there are ones bigger than our sun. And our sun, I think, can fit 100,000 Earths. And Earth is... Wow, we have a big sun. I, I think I so. I didn't realize we had a sun, but good to know. And uh, he's big, yeah, apparently. Yeah, it's big. Like... And Earth is also pretty big because there's a lot of people on it and other things. And the ocean is big, too. And the, the ocean's pretty unexplored. But we should keep exploring it. I'M NOT DONE YET! <laughs> but we should keep exploring it because... Um... It should be explored. Like, we know more about space than we do about the... Pacific Ocean, I think. That, that's the big one, right? Okay. Yeah, and so I heard that, like, 30% of the ocean or something has been discovered, which means 70% of the ocean. So we've said men, and even women, we don't know why, but even women. I'm not sexist. Being sexist is wrong. Yeah. And being wrong is for women. Even women. We've sent men, mainly, to Mars and to... Wait, are there men on Mars? There have been drones! I mean, things on Mars. And there was Star Wars, too. We've been on the moon. We've seen the sun. We've seen the world. See, seen it very large and and round like like a sphere i'm talking to you flat earthers anyways so we've m know more about that than our ocean we know 30 percent of our ocean we know like how much about like stars and space and stuff because we see the planets with our telescopes and it's like oh nice i could see a planet that's pretty cool but we don't know the ocean like what are we doing, scientists? Honestly, get back to work. Get back to work, I said. Anyways. So. No, you don't. You were just saying get back to work. <laughs> now look at what you're doing. I think you're holding the microphone backwards. There you go. You're welcome. Yum. Any wait, it's double sided. There isn't a back side. I know, but it works through the side with the words on it. There's words. I can guarantee that there is words on it. I just saw them. I didn't read them, but I saw them with my eyes. Yep. That I do have. Indeed. He has eyes too. They just don't work as well he has glasses as you can see on his face but yeah there's this one thing i forgot what it's called but it's like this really really long creature that's like as long as a football field or something i might need to put on my mask thing this Anyways, so there's this like really long creature and it's like Strange and alive. I think it's called like a seawall and it shoots darts and like we just discovered it like last month or something What are you doing? What is like, Unhand my stegosaurus. Oh, thank you But yeah This is my stegosaurus. It has a rip somewhere on it. That's why I didn't want him to touch it. It's very soft, and I like it a lot. I I'm patting it right now. What are you doing? Oh, what are you no! <laughs> Anyways, time for a break. We'll catch you soon on the flip side for Mass Misfits. Mass Misfits. Fits. Have you ever wanted to purchase something that exists with your country's currency? We have a solution for you. It's called buying something at a store or online. You can do this almost anywhere far afar. Hi, and now we're here back at Mass Mitsk Fits, and uh, we're going to be doing a sword fight. So first step is record your sound on this long blue thing. 
Wait, that's the wrong one. After the beep, say something loud. Hiya! And now we fight. Oh, oh, you've bested me. Oh, have you? Ah. Hold on, hold on. I gotta set this down. One second. Now I have two weapons. Ah. And that's what happens when you take on the. That's what happens when you take on the high yaw. This is what you look like once you've taken on the high yaw. Guess that means for now. While he's stunned, we can escape. He's all holding the captive. Out. Run away. Gosh darn it. Diggity dang. Uh. Gosh darn it. Are we done yet? Welcome back to Max Smith Matt Miss it's Matt that one and today Chloroform is going to be telling you a personal life story of his that happened a long long time ago. This is the side with the words on it, so you guys can hear me better probably. So I was like chilling in my house and then these bad guys showed up and he was like they were trying to take my house from me and I couldn't buy things anymore because they like ended my charge card. Well, I was too young and I didn't have a charge card or a credit card or a debit card or money in general. I was kind of broke because I was a kid and yeah, but we had a car and so we used the car to run away from the bad guys, but we weren't driving the car. It was this other guy. And the other guy, like, he helped us, and he brought us to the desert. So then, like, because the car broke down, and we ended up in the desert. So he didn't actually intentionally bring us to the desert. He just, like, kind of, yeah. And so we were, like, flat out broke, couldn't do anything, and, like, our car was broken, as I've already said. But there was this kid, and he was really nice, and he, like offered to get us the parts that we need to fix the car but he had to win a race to get the parts and he never won a race in his life and he's like 10 but like he's never ever won a race let alone finished a race so this kid's kind of like he really sucks and no one believes him in 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 the, the, no one believes in him but the guy that was driving the car believed in him. Don't know why, though. And uh, so, like, there is this one mean guy, and... He was, like, mean, and he sabotaged the kid's racing mobile. And so they start the race, but the kid's mobile doesn't start. And so I'm thinking, man, this kid's a loser. Why do I trust him? Because, like, I made a bet with a guy that, like, so the kid would become a slave if he lost. So, like, if he doesn't get first place, he's gonna, like, have a life of hell. And that doesn't sound very nice. Don't know why I made that deal, but I did. Who let me make that deal? That's dumb. Anyways, so... I have no faith in this kid. Then this thing starts, and he gets to second place. But then it started malfunctioning, because the mean guy... Like... Sabotaged it. And so he gets, like, set back a lot. But he, he like, almost dies several times in the process of making it back to second place. No. It's like he almost got shot. He got sent on a ramp and other things amongst that, like car crashes, but it might not have been cars. 
like it could be people crashes or sand crashes because we were in a desert but yeah he ended up winning and i'm like wow this kid's awesome but then one of the guys that was trying to invade my hometown and home and that that stopped my charge card that i didn't have like he popped in and he was like I, uh, uh. hold on And he was like, Whoa. and he, he seemed pretty cool, but I didn't, like, he was mean, so I didn't really like him that much at the time. I didn't learn to appreciate him until far later when I bought some video games. But, yeah, and so the guy that was, like, driving me and betting on the kid, like, started fighting him, and he was, like, exhausted afterwards. Like, we just barely managed to get back in the car and drive away from him. But yeah, we went back home and like they'd taken, like the bad guys had taken over my town. And I didn't like that. Due to obvious reasons, because I like my town being not taken over. And I like having a house, so we like slowly took things back. And then they captured my lookalike. And then I popped in and like pulled out a Glock and started shooting people. This is a real story, by the way. This exists somewhere. Anyways, so I started shooting people. But then the bad guy from earlier that made my like driver person sweat. Um, yeah, he came back and he killed him. And it was not nice. But the citizens had an uprising and they went against the bad guys. And they had frogs and EMPs. They might have been like ex-military convicts or something. I don't know how they got EMPs. But they did and it was cool because they were effective. And so, like, we won, but the... My Uber driver died. Yeah, the, the guy was an Uber driver. But, like, he was also a time traveler or something. But he wasn't because that's not how the story goes. And so, then the Uber driver's cousin... Slash Apprentice pops in and kills the guy, and then they end up cremating my Uber driver. But, um, like, it made world peace. For, like, ten seconds, and my town was at peace. And I'm pretty sure the little kid had a crush on me. That's all. How did you like the story, Water? You know, personally, that story was pretty good. It reminded me of a time when me and my sister one time had our town flooded, you know? And so since we were prof professional drivers, we noticed that there was a swirl in the ground. And so we started swirling the water the other way and the whole town unflooded because it turns out it was actually a sewer drain. Um, and that's why you should always be a professional Uber driver. And it also reminds me of this other story of where there was this one guy sleeping in this Uber driver's van, and he was asleep. He was like, <laughs> except he wasn't making any noise. And the driver was just driving. And then the uh, guy who was asleep was like, what? <laughs> and it turns out, he woke up, and he was scared. And he thought he was being kidnapped, or maybe he had a nightmare. But that was pretty scary. And the Uber driver kicked him out. And we don't know what happened to him after that. It was probably the middle of the forest at 12 in the morning. And he probably got arrested, or dead, or eaten. Or something like that. And it also reminds me of this other story. Where there was this one guy who was really fast. And his favorite number was 96. He had it, like, a tattooed on his body. And so, one time... He was going for this marathon sprint world record thing, and he won it. And then he he ended up losing another time. And then this these two people, like this group called like Diamond Co, ended up inviting him to join. And then he was like, no, and drove away. And his bigger friend. And then he ended up stuck at a little town. Where he met this cute girl who he thought was hot. But she wasn't. She was just cute. And she ended up being really small. And he helped them use their pavement maker thing. And drove on the road. And one time him and the girl were driving. And b brown mud or something got splashed on him. Even though there was no mud in front of the girl. Which was kind of a weird coincidence. Um. Anyways... They saw a waterfall together, and then he ended up going back to race, and um, he also had met this doctor guy who told him 
If you turn left, you turn left. And he used that advice for the rest of his life, and in the marathon, then he won. And it was the end of the story. Yeah. And his name... Yeah, so that's how the story went. Anything else to add? That reminds me of this time when I went to the beach, and, like, I was swimming and stuff, but then there was this giant shark, and it started eating everything. But, like, it wasn't a normal shark, but it kind of was, because it'd be weird if it was really big, such as one Hollywood movie. But it wasn't like that at all. It was just a normal great white shark. And it wasn't even that white. It was pretty gray. So, like, you can't really call it a great white if it's not white. Like, I'm a great white, and he is too. But I'm not all the way white. I am 75% white, so he is greater white than me. But anyways, there is a shark, and it was eating people. And it, like, bit this boat, and it broke its teeth because it's a normal shark. And that that's really all I remember. I was, like, pretty young when that happened. I don't even know how I was swimming or why I was let swim in the ocean. Yes, Insert why I was let swim. Edit. Very perfect grammar. But, yeah. That is very much what happens. This is canon in the real-life story. Speaking of canons, one time I was on a ship... Ah, my legs hurt from sitting on them. Um, that wasn't part of the story. That's just true. And I shot a cannon, and some people died, and my name was Jack Sparrow, and I was on a ship, and I killed a bunch of people. And then one time, I had this dog, and he ended up dying because Thanos snapped. And then, uh, my wick burned out, so I started killing a bunch of people, and I was like, this is what you get when you hurt my dog. Um... Anyways, that's pretty much the end of this episode. So, uh, if you don't have any more closing thoughts. I thought we were telling, like, actual true stories. Thanos doesn't exist, bro. Like, all No, no, no. It was, it, there was this guy named Thanos that I knew, um, snapped. And then he had a bunch of assassins kill my dog. So he was like a map, map, map. He's a... M he was a mafia, um, ugh, mafia boss. Like so, he he like hired a bunch of people to kill everyone, including your dog. Um, yeah, pretty much. He just like killed my neighborhood, but I was like hiding, and so I like lived, and then he killed my dog, so I killed them. So, yep. Um, but uh, that's how that goes. So, police, if you watch this, don't arrest me. Um, he killed my dog. Uh, valid excuse, yeah, exactly, that's what I was thinking, um, and so, uh, remember to like this video, and subscribe to our podcast, um, The Max Mitzvits, or something like that, still can't say it right, anyways, I'm Water, Chloroform, and today, we hope we knocked you out with our video, but not literally, Cause that would not be good. Anyways, thanks for watching. Straight!